Thank you for choosing Wolverine TV, where your bloodline is weak and won't survive the winter. In the meantime, before the winter creeps in and you succumb in your icy grave, it's Tuesday, December 11th. And I'm Alex. I'm Parker. It's a very exciting time right now as we have the winter ball coming up. But as nothing's free in your life, you need to buy tickets. They'll be selling them during both lunches for $15 in advance, or you can shell out a few extra shekels and pay at the door where they'll charge $20. This year's theme it will be... The Frozen in Time Masquerade. The dance is Saturday 15th at 7 to 10 p.m. And remember to be like me and always follow the school rules. You need to be in dress code and your masks can't cover your whole face. There's no re-entry. It's boys' choice and there will be a photo booth. Might even see some of us there. Congratulations to the Gearheads as their team representing Edelbrock Racing competed in the Hot Rodders of Tomorrow Elite Eight Championship in Indianapolis this weekend. Their average time rebuilding a small block Chevrolet was 19 minutes and 34 seconds. They were awarded third fastest engine building team in the world and each student received $9,000 in scholarship money. Congratulations, guys. Um, the students that were the captains of the team are Hayden Peterson, Ismael Torres Godinez, Isabel Stewart, and the recent graduates Teddy Proctor and Brandon Hunter. All GSA members, there will be a meeting today for decorating ornaments for the trees. The meet will be in room C114. Hope to see you there. File your FAFSA and boost your CPA tomorrow in the library from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Today's, Today's wacky, wacky and weird, weird fact is... Santa Claus originated in newspaper advertisement for toys. Thanks a lot, capitalism. Speaking of, it was Coke that first coined this red suit. Once again, solidifying Christmas as a heavy capitalized tradition. This week we will be having our progress reports due on December 13th and handed out on Friday, December 14th. Um, and in other news, <laughs> shots were fired somewhere in South Murray where a subway was robbed. Not just robbed by anyone, a man in a skeleton mask. Happily, nobody was injured or hurt, but I think some people are taking Fortnite cosplay a little too seriously. There was they are also not ruling out the possibility that he may have fired the weapon on accident. Uh, this incident took place yesterday on Monday at 5 o'clock in the p.m. We also have an intoxicated man in Draper fueled with road rage getting into fist fights, chasing down cars with a sword out of paranoia of someone following behind him. Unfortunately, this man did not make it far. The police put him J in jail early Saturday morning. For all you Hunter High students who haven't lost their ID card yet, you can bring a can of food or even a box in your ID card to cover the cost of the game for only the month of December. So make sure to bring a can or a box of food and your ID card to go watch any games. Thank you all for tuning into this merry, merry episode of Wolverine TV. Now it's time for the true gift we're giving our viewers this year. Jesus with the weather. Hello and welcome to your weather forecast. Today will be a partly cloudy day with the high going to 34 degrees in the early afternoon with the winds blowing at 3 to 5 miles per hour. Today's air quality will be in the yellow and breathing will be good. And now to Emiliano and Gabe for sports. Good morning Hunter High, I'm Gabe. And I'm Emiliano. Today we have a boys basketball, a girls basketball and freshman basketball today. Sophomores at 3.30, JV at 5.15 and varsity at 7. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.